عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته معكم دكتورة هدى شفيق today we will discuss influenza and the common cold viruses actually this is a common term I have flu أنا عندي برد أنا عندي إنفلونزا طب إيه الفرق بين البرد والإنفلونزا the flu has symptoms of fever, chills, cough, sore throat, stuffed nose, body ache headache and fatigue and occasionally diarrhea and vomiting this is the flu the flu term driven from influenza virus but another term is a common cold I have Anna and Bert Anna and influenza what is the difference the common cold is more applied to milder cases with more rhinorrhea and congestive symptoms. The term flu, like symptoms, is a medical diagnosis. Actually, not the flu and common cold gives the symptoms of body ache, fever, chills, headache, myalgia. Some diseases gives these symptoms and even uh, other illnesses can give this and termed a flu like symptoms in most cases the symptoms are caused by cytokine release by the immune system activation cyanogen virus infection or any other even drugs if makes activation of the cytokine immune system it makes the non-specific symptoms of flu-like symptoms occasionally cancer therapy can cause this flu-like symptoms symptoms of flu include fever of sudden onset not like common cold common cold if there is a fever it is mild and usually gradual in onset chills often before the fever and usually involve our body first muscle and joint ache and headache headache usually across the forehead accompanied by sensitivity to light and may include visual disturbances poor appetite and maybe nausea and vomiting occasionally diarrhea nasal snuffness it's common cough maybe dry hacking and persistence and it's really productive if not complicated by secondary bacterial infection poor pain fatigue in the form of malaise accompanied by sense of apathy the causes of uh, these symptoms uh, are mainly by viruses this is divided like the diagram into many viruses uh, let's forget corona and our problem now um, the main symptoms are caused by rhinovirus rhinovirus um, presented 40 uh, percent and the symptoms from his name rhino mainly the nose so it is mild, mild nasal discharge, mild, uh, maybe headache, maybe uh, some sore throat, but uh, generalized symptoms are usually less severe. Influenza virus and coronaviruses, coronaviruses, not the, not the generation of COVID-19, was represent 12% for each of them. Respiratory sinusitial virus 4%, para influenza viruses 4%, adenoviruses 2%, enteroviruses 2%, and unknown cost 24%. So, the rhinovirus are the most common cause of our symptoms of I am, I have a flu, I have a nerve. And nasal discharge. I am sick. I am tired today. Cr 
كورونا فيروس 12% انفلونزا 12% What is meant by contagious? Maybe we heard about the contagious uh, movie. Contagious, yes. Some, but not all infections spread directly from person to person. That means when I touch him, I kiss him, this virus will spread. Some infections spread to people from animal or insect, but are not contagious from another human. Malaria, for example, you can catch it from someone. This someone disease who have the disease with malaria, you hang him, you pass him in the street, you kiss him, he is not infectious to you, uh, as uh, he gets uh, the infection from the bite of infected mosquito. Contagious disease such as flu, cold, or streptococcal throat infection spread from person to person in several ways. One way is touch direct physical contact like touching or kissing a person who has the infection. Another way is when an infectious microbe travel through the air after someone uh, near body, uh, nose, or cough. So, the, the discharge from the droplets, from his cough, how his breathing, uh, his nose, this can be infectious to the other person. A person with flu can be contagious from one day prior to the onset of symptoms up to seven days after the start of the symptoms. From three to four days, the illness begins when the patients are most contagious. After a person is exposed to the uh, is exposed, the onset of symptoms usually occur within one to four days. The complications related to flu are seen in individual with chronic health conditions. So patient who had uh, diabetes, who had uh, chronic liver disease, who had uh, hypertension, who had uh, respiratory complications, are exposed to the complications after getting influenza viruses. So also old age, more than 65 years old, get this complication after infection with influenza. Uh, however, the eyes and the nose are the most common route of virus inoculation. When narrowing down differential diagnosis, the cold can be distinguished from similar illness on clinical basis. Symbryonites will not be present with a sore throat or cough. Bacterial tonsillitis will not be presented with a runny nose or nasal obstruction. The cold rarely presents with high fever, and the presence of high fever along with the cold-like symptoms is suggestive of flu. What is influenza viruses? Influenza A virus causes seasonal flu. It is the main um, problem in um, in yeast, uh, um, influenza A virus causes seasonal flu epidemics. It can affect human and animals. The outbreaks or disasters, uh, which we hear about it, um, like a Spanish influenza disaster. Uh, um, and uh, influenza epidemics uh, are caused by influenza A with various subtypes like, like H1N1 and this is causes mortality in the pandemics about uh, 25 to 50 million deaths 
in the disaster. Influenza B virus can also cause seasonal epidemics. It typically affects humans and rarely gives mutations like influenza A. Influenza A always gives mutations and always change in his genetics. Uh, influenza C virus causes mild symptoms and it doesn't cause epidemics and influenza D mainly affects cattle and it doesn't seem to infect human being. What's coronavirus? Coronavirus named from the crown like spikes on their surface. There are four main subgroups of coronavirus alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. This is the tree, the family tree of the coronaviridia family. It starts with Nidovirales, subtype of it family, coronaviridia family. Coronaviridia family has Toro, Viridi, Virinia, and Coronavirinia. Coronavirinia have many subtypes, alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. And all of them have many, many genes of viruses. But our interest of alpha coronavirus, which causes two types, H COV uh, 229E and H, uh, H, uh, H uh, coronavirus NL63 uh, uh, um, and uh, SARS CoV and um, human coronavirus uh, OC43 and uh, MERS CoV and human coronavirus HKU1. Those was the known coronaviruses which infect the human being before COVID-19. Coronavirus did, didn't just pop up recently. They are a large family of viruses that can uh, as that, uh, that spread all the time. Uh, many of them can cause uh, a variety of illnesses from mild cough to severe respiratory illnesses. Um, the new or novel coronaviruses or COVID-19 is one of several human of uh, several known to infect humans. SARS-CoV-2 is uh, covered in spike proteins that facilitate the invasion of host cells. SARS-CoV-2, which is COVID-19, is covered. Uh, and spike proteins that facilitate invasion of host cells, spike proteins bind to host cells, receptor, and G2 converting enzyme 2, which regulate blood pressure and fluid salt balance, and is expressed by, by multiple organs. This is NG2 converting enzyme is present um, in the blood vessels, which uh, supply all organs of the body, in the lungs, the heart, the kidney, the intestine, brain, and adipose tissue. The incubation period for the flu is typically one to four days, but for coronaviridia, it is as little as two days and maybe 14 days and maybe more. We actually didn't know exactly. Symptoms both SARS CoV 2 or COVID 19 and influenza cause cough, fever, shortness of breath, fatigue, sore throat, runny nose, body ache, vomiting, and diarrhea. SARS CoV 2 also causes loss of taste or smell, and additionally, less common. COVID-19 symptoms and complications are observed and reported. In serious cases, both flu and COVID-19 cause pneumonia, respiratory failure, acute respiratory distress syndrome, sepsis, heart attack, or stroke. 
multiple organ failure, severe inflammation, and even death. The symptoms of the flow typically resolve within five to seven days of onset, but it takes longer to recover from COVID-19, about two weeks for milder cases and up to six weeks or more for severe cases. Investigation. Molecular assay diagnose acute infections by testing for RNA in the respiratory specimen. Rapid antigen test detect virus specific proteins called antigens from the patient specimen. Rapid influenza diagnostic test is available in the world and it just uh, takes a few minutes in the hospital. It doesn't need lab. Our immune assay that detect the influenza E and B viral nucleoprotein antigen and produce the results in less than 15 minutes it has sensitivity about 50 to 70 percent. Antiviral treatment for influenza virus are two classes uh, used to compensate influenza neuro amidase inhibitors and M2 proteins. The two main neuroamidase inhibitors currently in care and clinical use are Zanamivir and Ostamivir. Zanamivir, we know it Relenza and the trade name and uh, Osinu Tamivir is the trade name Tamiflu. Uh, these are effective against uh, influenza A, B, uh, but not influenza C. M2 inhibitors, drugs such as amantadine, trade name Symmetril, and remantadine, trade name Flumatidine. Um, they had been um, uh, used uh, and so most strains makes uh, just resistance to them. Influenza B had different protein on the M2 protein, so it is not affected by this drug. And influenza A um, actually gets resistance from it. Uh, um, it is used in farmers, uh, by farmers uh, for the poultry, um, so they develop resistance Vaccines for suspected mutagenic strains for influenza have developed. Uh, also, corona vaccines are available. Emergency signs and symptoms of the flu, which means if one of these symptoms or signs, uh, you catch it in your outpatient clinic by some patient, this means that he should be hospitalized and uh, treated seriously. Uh, difficulty of breathing or shortness of breath, which uh, in the scientific na name term dyspnea, uh, this is an emergency. But uh, the obstruction of the nose and uh, the patient complains he can't breathe because of obstruction of the nose. This is not an emergency. Chest or abdominal pain or pressure symptoms. Dizziness or confusion. This means a probability of CNS infection. Uh, severe uh, vomiting symptoms um, improved and the reappear, reappearance of fever or reappearance of severe cough. This means that he gets maybe secondary infection or um, maybe had a cytokine storm and a problem in his immunity. Seizures, coughing of blood, cough lasts more than three weeks. This means uh, he gets complication, maybe pneumonia, maybe secondary pneumonia, maybe something else. Severe weakness or muscle pain, or he had already associated chronic disease. So if he 
2 Fight against that he gets uh, influenza virus and coronavirus, he should be treated seriously. Thank you.